Good morning, everybody. I had to get up early today to walk down towards the boats because today is penguin day. I'm on my way to the boat right now to head to an island that will have a bunch of penguin nests on it. And then once I get back, I just have a few more things I need to do to wrap up my time here in Ushuaia before I take my bus on my next section of trip. I have a video call with Trey and two of our friends back from Salt Lake. They just had a baby, so we get to meet their baby and say hi to them. And then of course, getting on top of work that I missed out on the past few days while I was on trail. But I will get that all figured out when I get back. Right now, my focus is 100% on these penguins I'm about to go see, which I will absolutely show you when I get there. This photogenic little guy. Frog very early, popper bacco. Grandus ducky stretch a sacco. Skip points pala, chapla fianco. Collo dritto, muso franco. Un gran casco, un gran turbante. Moto nor, poco cantante, poco cantante, poco cantante. Ed in vece del fandango, una marcia per il fango. This guy is right there. This guy is right there. Mi al concetto di tromboni, di fanfate di cannoni, che le parre tu ti toni, all'orecchio fa fischiar. Non più vrai, quei panachini, non più vrai. Even as a tour with other people here, it was really cool to see these penguins. I could have spent probably five more hours just sitting here with them. But that amount of time is more than I had before, so I'm really happy about it. Turns out the vegan option that they prepared for me was apples and Oreos, <laughs> which uh, it's not quite as appetizing as everyone else's for breakfast, um, but that's okay. I'm still happy I have it, and I can get some fresh hot coffee and a beautiful view. So, and I saw penguins. That's the point. I saw penguins today. So. Stay in Ushuaia. I no longer have my hostel room. I can keep my bags there, obviously, but without a room, um, 
and they're cleaning the kitchen right now so I can't just be up there doing work so I'm gonna have to do that a little bit later but for now I am walking back into town so I figured if it's my last time here I should definitely go back to that little vegan cafe and grab some more empanadas and another carrot cake piece because it was delicious and I don't think I'll have that again for a while um, and then hopefully by the time I'm back we'll be done cleaning the kitchen and the upstairs and I'll be able to do some work in there um, and then I have my bus late tonight It's $120. Oh, really? You just said three. How much? No, no, no. I mean, 20,000 pesos. 3,000 pesos? 20,000. Oh, 20,000. Sorry. That's yeah. like 100. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do that. That's not worth it to me. I didn't want to do it when I thought it was 3,000. <laughs> so. No, from the, the bus from Calafate to uh, the Glacier cost uh, 4,000. Okay. Yeah. That's the only option. That's all right. I'm, yeah. No, what is it? It's like a uh, mix of her herbs and okay. uh, mix with coke, coke, like coca Yeah. Okay. Do you want to try? It? Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the first time, maybe like sweet, but. <laughs> sour? A little bit, yeah. A little bit sour. <laughs> then, I, I told you the first time you. <laughs> It's like bitter um, tea leaves, I guess, not tea, but it's like a tea. You put it in a cup. I can show you. Yeah, I've seen it. Oh. It's like marijuana, but it's not. Oh, is it really? It's a little after 1 a.m. I have my bus at 3 a.m. Gotta be there at around 2.30, 2.45. Um, and... Luckily, my hostel has been amazing and is allowing me to just stay here and wait in the kitchen so that I don't have to wait in the cold or find somewhere to go. Um, it's been a really great time here and my hostel is a big part of that. I really do think it was a great one, great choice. I'm glad I picked this hostel, Los Cormorones. If anyone is in Ushuaia or planning on going, I would definitely check it out. So it's been a good time. I will be catching my bus soon and on my way to my next part of Argentina. I'll share, of course, everything along the way with you guys. All right, I'm on my way. It is about 2.15 in the morning and I'm walking right now towards the bus area. I plan to sleep as much as I can and do some work when I wake up and then have a quick layover in El... somewhere, I'm blanking on the name right now, um, before El Calafate. Two days there and then I'll head straight to El Chotin, where I will spend at least a month. Yeah, there's so much to do there, it's unbelievable. I will have a massive series dedicated to that area. <laughs> Got some of that bathroom soap in my eye and uh, did not handle it well. I've got this nice six hour layover at the bus station and luckily they have Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna try to catch up on some Instagram stuff and get some editing done and possibly try to make friends so that I can have some people watch one of my bags while I run to the grocery store that's nearby. So that's my new agenda for the day. Also, whoever this person is that fell asleep next to me, uh, well, then grab my pillow on accident, or maybe on purpose, and yeah, I just not using it. But I don't really know what to do about that.
no dona que viene. I have no idea what the problem was because I definitely booked this hostel like over a week in advance because I knew it would fill up. And I talked to people who came the day before who booked it like last minute and got the last rooms. So I don't know how my booking got messed up. But over an hour later, it's finally resolved. I just want to go to bed. Let me know what took my bags. So. <laughs>